got Neil Ivey starting at guard. She's the heart and soul of our basketball team. A tremendous point guard. I think one of the best in the nation. Haney comes out with it and tips it to Ivy. That was a surprise pass by Kelly Sinney. She didn't even look at the basket. Ivy for three. Purdue is going to have to be aware of... UConn over Notre Dame. Bird, nice bounce pass. Taken away by Ivy. Good pass to Haney. She couldn't quite control it. Then she's double teamed at the baseline and fouled. Cash goes baseline. Good defense by Riley, and then Seaman made the steal. Ivy ahead of the pack, chased from behind and clobbered. That'll be a foul on Johnson, her second. Bird's going to have to force one up whether she wants to or not. It hit the rim, but here comes Ivy. Ivy, scoop, got it. Niel Ivy has seven. Lead of the game. Ivy tries the three. Got a tough shot by Niel Ivy from behind. Asia Jones reached in to knock it away. Now Ivy down the lane kicks it to retire out of the corner. And that's what Notre Dame needed some space for the brilliant shooter. Basketball. Seaman, who was such a good passer from that high post spot. Ivy gets by Bird. Got it. It's four points. Seaman kicks it outside to Ivy. Line drive three by Neil Ivy. Now it's one. Very poorly from the outside, which was one of the causes of their first loss to Notre Dame in South Bend. But Connecticut is a team that shoots a lot of threes. Retire. Yeah! Tremendous outside shooter. Notre Dame with its biggest lead of the game. They're up by five. And Connecticut. Watch a timeout to break the momentum. 9-11 to go. The Irish have stormed from behind. There you see the kick back out and retire, shooting almost 55% from three-point range, knocking a big one down for the Irish. Good movement. You see the penetration? Spotting up, giving Ivy an opportunity to kick it back out to her. Notre Dame is 8 of 10 from three-point range, 80%. UConn shooting. 80 or more three-point shots because of the four she got tonight. Conlon throws it away. Ivy with a wide open Joyce. Yeah! Joyce missed the shot, but she's fouled by Conlon. Notre Dame taking advantage of turnovers and running hard. And Gino Oriama is going to get Kenitra Johnson back in the ballgame in his first opportunity. Talk about the tie changing, and Gino Ariema knew it going into halftime. He was concerned with the defense. Just a lapse play right there. Connecticut losing the ball. We've talked about the turnovers, how crucial they're going to be in this game, and how each team is going to take possession of it and what they're going to do with it. Niel Ivey, just a quick hands and aware of seeing her teammate wide open on fill in the lane. UConn with seven second half turnovers. The lead is six. They only had four in the first half. Joyce hits both free throws. Notre Dame doing everything right here in the second half. Notre Dame with the 12 point lead here in St. Louis. There was a roar as Neil Ivey came back onto the floor. She has a left sprain, a probable left sprain of her ankle. They taped it back up. And as you see her roll it right here, they were not sure if she's going to play. In fact, she is out on the court. They're going to look at it afterwards, but don't feel they will even have to x ray it, Andy Mike. Oh, that's wonderful news for Notre Dame and for Neil Ivey. She must play in front of those home folks one more time for a shot at a national championship. A play yet. Bird hustling down court. Oh, oh man. Ivey knocked it away. Great defense by Ivey. I really thought Sue Bird was going to try and make a move on Ivy. You can see she's really limping on that ankle, so laterally she doesn't have the movement. So Ivy was just stuck there and used her hands and knocked the ball away. Nil and none, and the Connecticut bench was unbelievable. Shot 80%, 22 points in the first half from the bench alone. But the zone, I think, has been their bread and butter all year long, and Muffet McGraw stayed with it and keeping Ruth Riley in the game, and Connecticut was not able to attack her and get fouls on her.
Neil Ivy, the hometown hero, has 21 points. Sports Center is coming up. Ivy will go to the bench. Gets a nice round of applause here, and they keep seeming on the floor. The numbers on Riley and Ivy for the night as they have gone up to 14 points. A tremendous performance by the Notre Dame seniors. They've combined for 35. Conlon with a miss, it's over. Notre Dame has done it. They have beaten UConn 90 to 75. Probably the biggest win in the history of the Notre Dame program and Muffet McGraw, the Naismith Coach of the Year, pulls one out tonight. 90 to 75 over UConn. Annie, that was just a very impressive performance by the Irish of Notre Dame, especially the way they were controlled by UConn in the first half. And it looked like UConn, which had a 16 point lead late in the first half, was just dominating everything for all the world. Thank you, Mike. I guess you had them right where you wanted them. Down 12 at the half. It certainly wasn't the kind of half we expected to play, but the second half was definitely the one we wanted to do. Now you talked about uh, going out, getting the rebounds. You did that. You got the open shots. They must have listened to you. What did you say at the half? Well, we definitely talked about rebounding. That was the key. We needed to have Ruth in the game. That was another key for us. We wanted Alicia to look for her shot a little bit more. I thought Neil Ivy just played a great game, yeah, too. Talk about her. She hurts her ankle, comes back. How tough is she? Well, she's so tough. She's so happy to be playing in St. Louis one more round, and I am, too. All right, great. We'll see you Sunday Thank night. You. Thanks. Back